Hello you guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Camera looks a little lopsided, but whatever. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today's vlog is I'm gonna be making Berea tacos. I don't know if I'm pronouncing it right, but I think it's pronounced as Berea, like B-I-R-R-I-A tacos. And some fried chicken wings on the side. Just have a little bit of extra gathering and some french fries. So let's get straight into this video. So as you see guys, um, I already got the chicken wings and the flour. I got some turkey burger and yeah. So I got the turkey burger, well the ground turkey. And I'm just gonna put it in the skillet. I'm gonna chop my meat as I go, but I forgot to cut up this onion. So I'm gonna go, go ahead and cut this onion up real quick. This is gonna make my eyes cry, like, oh my gosh. Oh my. But you literally have to wear glasses because this stuff makes your eyes water. And I've seen people wear glasses while cooking, so, well, cutting up onions. They're really strong. So, yeah, this is literally steaming and cooking right now at the moment. I don't know how long it's gonna take, because, like, usually turkey burger is, like, really, really light. Super light, but it's healthy though, so it's good for you. I usually like take my spatula and I just keep like chopping it because it, it kind of like makes more for everybody. And I'm, I'm making this for everybody. I'm making this for my my dad and my sister, so I want to like make sure it's enough. I have another package of turkey burger, but it's like in the refrigerator. It's in the freezer because I didn't want to cook two of them in one night. I want to make some more of this tomorrow because I've been seeing everybody eat it on TikTok and it looks so good. Y'all, yeah, literally, I'm not gonna lie, I'm so hungry right now, but the, like, the longer you take with cooking food, the better it comes out. Because, like, when you, like, hear and, like, you, like, rush, you, like, cook all your food, it never turns out right. Because, trust me, like, I've been there, done that, it never comes out right. You want to, and also that, like, you also want to cook your food with passion, because, like, when you, cook your, when you cook your food with love and take your time, you, when you eat the food, you can tell that the food is generally made with love. So, me personally, I like to take my time to cook. I be spending like hours, like two, three hours in the kitchen making one meal. But it's worth it because it's just a fun experience and I just love to cook and it also it also calms you down. Like it's just something that's just really peaceful about cooking. So I just really like to cook. So it's a lot going on right now because so I'm like cooking wings and I'm also cooking meat at the same time. While I'm trying to like focus on everything all at the same time. I'm like literally getting like everything all over the stove. Just trying to be a, a neater cook. Okay y'all, so I got a pot. I'm gonna put some water in it and I'm gonna put my meat back into the pot and I'm gonna bowl it with like the peppers and all the other stuff. Okay, so I already like cooked the meat a bit, steamed it with the onions, and I'm gonna put it back into the pot. I'm gonna put the rest of the pepper up because I don't want to use it all up. I might want to make some more of these tomorrow because I just have a, I just know this is gonna come out great. So I'm really excited about these burrito tacos. And 
now we have to cut the tomato. So I already cut the peppers and the onions. Now I gotta cut the tomato. I'm gonna rinse it off real quick. You know, with germs and you know, everybody touching all over the the tomatoes. Oh, I can't even open it. The heck. Okay. Okay, we got our fresh tomato. Now I'm just trying to cut up. This is what we're gonna put into the pot with the other stuff, which I will show y'all in just a second. So I can put the tomato through with the knife. Oh, and hold on, let me fix the camera. Oops, my bad. Okay. Before y'all say anything, okay, I know y'all be like, y'all probably be like, why is she cutting tomatoes on a paper plate? But, like, I don't feel like getting any dishes dirty. Like, I already got our few pots and pans dirty. We don't need to add on some more of the chaos, okay? So, be using, <laughs> be using a paper plate, y'all. So, don't judge me in the comments, just in case somebody do mention that. Okay, y'all, I'm going to go ahead and give my hamburger a meat test before I throw it in a pot. Just to make sure everything's tasting all right and everything end up okay. So I'm going to get, give it a meat test. Okay. Okay, it's not bad. It's not salty. It's just right. Okay, we're going to go ahead and throw everything into that pot. And I already filled up everything, so yeah. Okay, y'all, so... The wings are cooking, but I did get one with one. So I'm gonna give it a taste test. Um, y'all can see the wing. Hold on, let me let me flip the camera around so y'all can see how it looks. Okay, so that's my wing, and we just give it a taste test. Okay, y'all. The only thing I'm missing out on is some hot sauce, but we do got some ketchup. So I'm just gonna get some ketchup and go ahead and take a bite out of this. Okay, y'all. Here we go. Cheers. I hope it's not hot. Mm. Now that's good. It is fresh. The meat is white, it's not pink. That's how you know it's well done. Chicken and wing is fresh. Very fresh. Mm. I love homemade food. I love cooking. My food tastes so good. Very good. Okay, I got a few more wings before I gotta cook before I dip it into this flour. But the wings right here is already finished. Um, and yeah, I gotta take the little black crumbs off of there. I think it's just the pot itself that's kind of like burning fast on the stove that's kind of like creating black crumbs, which I can like take off at the end. But I'm gonna go ahead and season this with some seasoning sauce because it's the only seasoning we have here. So we could get some more seasoning from the store later on. But yeah. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and put it in the flour. And then kind of like just. You know, massage it a bit, and then throw it in the skillet, and then fry that. Okay, here we go. There's a better view of my chicken wings, as you can see. I kind of tried, I did my best to take the little black things off, but, yeah. These are the chicken wings. I got some green onions. They're like 80 cents at the grocery store, if that's even possible anymore, since, you know, inflation is making everything expensive. But anyways, yeah, I got some green onions. Ooh. And I'm gonna cut them up real quick. Y'all, this is, <laughs> this is literally taking all day. I started cooking like at what time? Like seven something. It's now nine, 
9.30, so almost two hours now. And we haven't even got to, like, the bowling meet or whatever just yet. But it's okay, though, because I like to cook my food with passion. I like to take my sweet, precious time. And I like my food to turn out nice and pretty. So, yeah, the wings are almost done. And then I got to chop up these french fries. And I'm going to make my, my fries, like, McDonald's, like, really skinny, like McDonald's. I just love it. my french fries. I cut in that size. So, yeah, I'm going to stay patient because I really enjoy cooking. And I'm not really an impatient cooker. I used to, but now that I grew, like, love and passion for cooking food and, like, different recipes and different, you know, different treats, I'm definitely... Definitely patient, even if it's a long wait time. We're gonna go ahead and throw the tomatoes in there like that, just like that. Okay, and then the meat. So I went ahead and added my onions, peppers, tomatoes, and I didn't have any tomato paste, so we got some salsa for the replacement, and we're gonna put this in there until it turns red, and hopefully everything turns out right. So it got the red coloring look that I wanted. I'm gonna take some pepper, and I'm just gonna put some pepper in there, and just, just for like the boost of flavor a bit like that and then I'm just gonna take like a whisker or whiskey or however you say it and I'm just gonna like stir it around okay y'all so I know you're supposed to get like dry chili peppers for this recipe but um we didn't get any so hopefully it still comes out right which I'm pretty sure it still gonna come out right chili peppers or not so uh, I went ahead and added some garlic seasoning salt as well and some salt and some pepper I thought that would give it a little bit of boost of flavor while that's boiling, so we're gonna let that boil, and I'm gonna go ahead and start cutting my fries. So let's go ahead and get started on that. So those are the bag of potatoes that we use, and I went ahead and cut me up some potatoes. So I'm gonna go ahead and throw those in the fryer real quick. As you can see, the salsa is boiling. This will be the salsa we'd be using on the side. I'm gonna go ahead and put that topic on there so it can keep boiling. But yeah, that's boiling. Okay, the fries are boiling. I mean, <laughs> not boiling. The fries are frying. So, so far, I think mean, we have been cooking for a total of, um, hmm, how long? I think it's 9, 10, oh, it's 10, 12. Okay, so we've been cooking since 7, so that would be like a maximum of 3 hours, but it's okay. It's okay. We, we got patience, you know, Jesus teaches about patience, so we're good over here. Okay, so I went ahead and got, gave, gave it a, a, a taste test of the, you know, the salsa, the burrito sauce, or whatever you call it. And it's just really good. I was surprised because I was like, mm, like, I don't know if I did this right, but turns out, first time, it's turned out pretty good so far. You know, no mistakes, no, no setbacks, like, everything turned out perfect. Okay, so this is my dad's and sister's sauce that I made. I'm going to go ahead and dip some green onions in there for the finished look. Okay, I'm going to try tequila buns. We just got some regular mission fajita grande tequila buns. Um, not buns, but tortilla, whatever you call it. Anyways, let me open this up. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and heat up some butter like that. Let's heat it up a little bit. And I'm just going to dip the tortilla in the dang. I kind of uh, got to do it off camera because... But y'all already know what I'm getting ready to do. Just dip it on here and make sure, you know, make it drippy and orange and, you know, red looking and stuff like that. Okay, I'm just going to take some onions and kind of like squirt it over it. I'm going in with this mozzarella cheese right here. Okay, so far that's how the taco's looking. I'm still kind of letting it toast on the other side so it can be uh, toasted and clear. And we go on to the next few tacos and I'll show y'all the final look. Okay, you guys, so I have to go down making my dad's tacos. I'm going to go ahead and bring him his burritos, burrito tacos, and I just want to see how his face look. Like, oh, my God, like, oh, my God, my daughter can cook. I just want to see his reaction, so let me show you how to look. Okay, so this is the finished look of his burrito tacos. So I'm going to go bring it to him and see what he thinks. Let me show you the, like, inside of the taco real quick. Let me fix the camera. Okay, as you can see, that looks a little cheesy and good, so I'm just, I'm ready to see his reaction. I'm just excited because I'm like, you got to eat this. Is this look bomb.com? Let's get started on my sister tacos. So I already put the meat on there. I'm going to add some onions now. Okay. Let's go ahead and add the, the cheese.
that's good one. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and let that sizzle. Okay, so what I like to do is let it sizzle a bit, like let it burn around the edges. Once it starts to look toasted around the edges, that's when I know I can flip it over. So I'm gonna go ahead and flip it over. And there's that. And guys, don't be afraid to add more juice because sometimes I feel like the juice can be too watery and you want that orange looking look for the burrito taco. So I went ahead and added some more juice. Now I'm just gonna let that toast on that side until it's done with and then put the other one in there. Okay, you guys, I'm done with my sister's plate. Let me show you how her plate looks. Okay, this is the finished look of my sister's plate. Mm-hmm, yep, mm-hmm. Put some mm -hmm in it, okay. I'm just give it to her. Let's see her reaction. April, I made your food. April. April. Here you go. Yeah, y'all, she sleeps, so hopefully she eats it. You want me to put your food back up? Okay, guys, let's give it a taste tester. Here we go. I'm trying to not break the taco. Oop, my bad. I'm trying not to break the taco as I pick it up. Okay. Oh my god, it's just like really, really hard. Like, what the heck? Okay, here we go. Let's go for it. Mmm. Mmm. Bro, I gotta make these again. No cap. I gotta make these again. These are literally addictive. Like, hands are orange, but it's worth the mess. Okay, y'all, I'm finally done. Oh my gosh, it is 11.20. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, 11.39. Like, oh my gosh, I've been in the kitchen for like, since, let's see, 7, 8, 9, 10. Oh my god, my hands are ashy. <laughs> anyway, so I've been in the kitchen for five hours cooking, but hey, it was worth it because it turned out great, right? So I hope you enjoyed this video. I will be posting more cooking vlogs, well, cooking videos soon. So yeah, y'all give this video a thumbs up, like, and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time.